Julie Holman. Yes, I heard you the first time. No, I didn't put the papers on your desk. Why? Because you left the office 10 minutes before I left. And I just left 10 minutes ago. I'm almost at my car. Do you honestly think I'm gonna go back? I'm telling you, I will have those papers on your desk tomorrow morning. Don't worry, they'll be there tomorrow morning. Okay, what have we got? Businesswoman, about 30 years old, shot to the chest with a single bullet around sunset last night. Then why are we hearing of this now? Hell if I know. We got the call this morning and that's when I called you. We figured you could sort this whole thing out. Got ID on her? Yeah, she had a briefcase on her purse with her at the time. This clearly wasn't robbery, so... Well, what, what's her name? Julie Hellman. She works at the big fashion company up the street. Seems she was walking home when she was shot. And some more background. I don't know. That stuff is your domain, detective. Would have been sent to your office, not mine. Yeah, I know, Tiff. It's like... It's just not the same. No? Yes, I will get back to you on that. How you doing? Another file came in for you from the police department. Oh, not again, Christine. Beautiful girl dead. Listen, how many times have I told you to stop going through my files? No, but, oh, you're just so interesting. Besides, she was a real looker when she was alive. You are so sick. I'm just glad this one isn't the robbery case. Not after the last one. It's over. Forget it. It's in the past. And who knows, maybe this one will be juicy. Christine, this is not a gossip column. I know, I know. Do you know anyone who could have done it? Any spouse? Yeah, 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 right here. Ex-husband Ronnie Moretti divorced recently. It says here that she almost got everything that divorce her. Angry ex, good motive. Oh, wait. It says right here that she also had an intern, Antoinette Lawrence, who she fired. Well me off to get fired. Don't tell me. I'll go question them. You get some background on both of them and have it ready by the time we get back. Stanley? Yeah? What were you doing last night? When I asked you to get drinks, you... I said you had other plans. Christine, I'd rather not share my private life with you, but... That's the truth. I honestly cannot remember. your day going? Well, since the sun disappeared, pretty snazzy. Yours? Can't complain. Not bad. Interviewed anyone yet? Mm, no. Mm -hmm. And what have you been doing? Off for a walk. You're just useless. <laughs> and I will stay useless until I can get my head clear to that. Please. The case hasn't started yet. No. Not this case. That case. The case. That one. Get over it. I cannot get over the fact 
that my, my client sent me on a wild goose chase just so she could get some stupid publicity. Well, shit happens. Ben's father happened. It's over. Get over it. No. It's not over. For me, it will never be over. But your problem has disappeared. Yours is over. You still have a career, money, clients. I was in labor on my prom night. Alone. Well, thanks for the guilt complex. I have a few people in here. Ready? Yeah. What do you want? Just to talk. Want to come with me? Just talk, officer. Detective. It's about your wife. Ex-wife. Whatever. She's dead, Ronnie. Now do you want to stay here, or do you want to come talk with me? Jules is dead? Yeah. She was shot last night. Hold this. Let me guess. I'm a suspect. How'd you know? Man, I watched some crime shows. I know how it works. All right, smart guy. Where were you last night? I was at home. After she filed for the divorce, I wanted nothing to do with her. She couldn't bear to be with a common man, with a big fancy car and her big important friends. So it was a bitter divorce? You could say that. She got everything. I, I'm lucky to have the clothes on my back. She got everything. The apartment. The money, the car, even that engagement ring. I saved up for years together. So why did you get married in the first place? She gets a job less than a year after we got married. Always talking about this woman and trying to get rid of her. Julie got the job anyway. What was this woman, like, did Julie ever talk about her? Eh, I don't know. I don't think I should talk without a lawyer. Listen, low life. you probably don't even got the dough to buy a lawyer anyway, so just tell me the goddamn name. Don't you gotta give me one? Ain't that one of my rights? Only if I arrest you. I'd be more than happy to do that right now. For what? You ain't got no reason to. You're right. I'm sorry. I just need the name. Hannah Streisberg. She, she was almost trying to, like, stalk you. Alright, thanks. I'm gonna leave, but I may need to ask you a few more questions. Yeah, sure. You know where to find me. Come in. Is your name Antoinette Lawrence? Yes. I'm Detective Stanley Clark. Your former employer, Julie Homan, was shot last night I just need to know where you were. I was studying for French exams, but I'm glad that bitch is dead. Oh, why? She fired me and I was furious, but I wouldn't have killed her. That's my dorm advisor, I couldn't hurt a fly. Okay, thanks for your time. Those files ready for me? Well, yes, Mr. Clocker, I do. How nice of you to ask. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. The husband was a pain, the ex husband. The intern was a whiny college kid. Both of them saw it, otherwise, people would back him up. But... got shot and bled to death in my arms. I t I'm sorry. 
Mr. Grumpy Gills. Oh, we have a new suspect. A uh, supposed stalker, according to Moretti, Hannah Streisman. And I can't spell that. S T R I E Smear. Well, thank you, Mr. Crumpy Gills. I'm on it. Okay. What else is there? I got Julie Holman's file. Oh, good. And her okay. stuff. Awesome. Forensics get it? Yeah. Her last phone call was to work. Nothing suspicious. Hmm. Ah! I got her new suspect's address. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, that's my last post note. Can you get a small one? You're just not important enough. She'll give us something useful. But, uh, oh. By the time this is all done, I'll take it up on that office. Stanley? Yeah. Are you gonna figure this out? I can always tell the eyes of a criminal. You scared me. Sorry. Do you know Julie Holman? Yeah, I heard she was shot last night. But I can tell you right now, I didn't kill her. But you didn't like her very much, did you? Yeah, this job was the best offer I ever had, and she took it from me. But I wouldn't kill her over it. I was at the bar, drinking my troubles away, and trying to get a guy. You can go to the bar and ask people there. They saw me. Alright. Have a good day. The usual. A Cosmo, please. What are you doing here? I need to relax. <sighs> me too. It's this case. I think you just might kill me. Stanley, you said that about the robbery too, and look at you now. <laughs> yeah. I'm contemplating getting blackout drunk. Oh, stop it. You're just stressed. Damn right I am. It's these people. They're alibis. But you uh, said you can always tell from the, the eyes. eyes of a criminal. I know, but it's just... I know they're all criminals. I just can't understand how they could have done it. Put them all on my tab. I can't let you do that. I insist.
I just needed someone to talk to. Oh no, it's fine. Come in. Um, make yourself at home. I was planning on going out tonight because Ben's at a friend's house for the night. Uh, but never mind. Oh, I hope I'm not destroying any of your plans. No, no, it's okay. I I like your company. Besides, I'd rather spend time with you than a bunch of drunk girls at some club. <laughs> Glasses. Sure, they're in this cabinet. I would have gotten something else if I knew you were coming, but I usually don't keep alcohol in the house because of Ben. It's fine. How is Ben anyway? I haven't seen him since you brought him to the office that one time. He's fine. He's been asking about his dad. I feel like shit because he doesn't have a father in the picture. Don't. It can't be your fault. Oh, it's not. The bastard left me when I was pregnant. Yeah, I told him I thought I might be pregnant, and he said he'd support me the whole way. Christine, you don't need to tell me this. No, I want to. Um, I went to the doctor to get it confirmed, and I told him, and he seemed so happy. So I went to school the next day, because I was 17, and ignored me. And, you know, everyone thought we broke up because he told his friends that some random guy knocked me up and that he was so angry that he ended things. I cried for hours, but my mom helped me the whole way. Then to make sure I had enough money for Ben, I went to community college and after two years, I heard about this job interview as your secretary. I remember the first day you walked in. You seemed so scared, but when I laid it, there's not the work you proved that you could handle it. Um, <clears throat> I, s I still really wish Ben had a father, but I swore not to let any man into this house until I could trust him with my son. So why am I here? Because I trust you most of all. I just can't do this. Stanley! Stanley, wait! Why does she? What? I don't follow. I knew I'd seen her before. She was the one who set up that fake robbery case. I was so angry. I just guess I lost control. I'm so angry. I, I don't understand. I wanted her to understand what she had done, so I killed her.
I love, I always have. Bitch! <laughs>